for Hannibal, it was uh, love at first sight. <laughs> found that young man so fascinating, and, and he knew right there that he had a future with him somehow. Will Graham had no idea what was hitting him. One of the things I find real weird about the show, I mean, the show's got its own logic, it's its own world, and you, you know, you, you can't really, it, 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 it operates under, under its own rules. But like the, the homoerotic tension between um, Will and Hannibal is crazy. But no one ever says, like, you guys fuck already? Like, no one ever says, I think Hannibal's interest is a little gay. It's never said. Like, even Jack, who you expect, would go, what the fuck's going on? I mean, do, 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 do you want to, does he, what's he want with you? You know what I mean? The love between Hannibal and Will has always been, you can feel it, but it's never been addressed in a very, um, and after killing Francis Dollarhide with Hannibal Lecter, he realizes this is exactly what Hannibal Lecter has wanted all along. He has wanted a partner in crime, a murder husband, as it were. And the, the sad truth of it all is Hannibal was right. Will did enjoy it. Will thought it was a beautiful, powerful thing. And in that realization that what they experienced together was beautiful, Will realizes that his return to humanity is going to be so much more difficult than he ever anticipated. So this should be his end of humanity. And off they go. They are in love. Or well, they love yeah. each other. Yeah. That's, that's uh, unquestionable. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's a platonic love. Mm -hmm. This is not a spitter. The controversial, no, not a spitter. Yeah. Matt swallows. He's a swallow. Out Will Graham acknowledging that he couldn't save himself or Hannibal Lecter in this scenario. And so much of it was threaded through the earlier parts of the season, particularly in the Italian chapter, where Will is acknowledging to Chio that he feels that he has to kill Hannibal to prevent himself from becoming Hannibal. And then in the Red Dragon arc, in the scenes with Bedelia, where she says, You will hardly be caught a second time. I don't intend Hannibal to be caught a second time. Can't live with him. Can't live with him. And Will saying clearly to Hannibal, I don't know if I can save myself. Maybe that's just fine. And what we wanted basically was for the two female lions to hunt down the bear together, right? Uh, and have that feeling of, of uh, if we attacked one by one, we wouldn't manage. We had to do it together, right? And in that case, the story was Will and Hannibal, like kind of a, a couple of small, like a pack animals, you know, taking down this beast and, and, and relishing it and, and having that shared consummation of, of, of the darker side of their relationship, you know. This is all I ever wanted for you, Will. For both of us. A ton, right? Uh, but mostly I've seen some graphic novels. Ah, <laughs> fanfic. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to see it, but there's a small little part of me that is a little curious. <laughs> it's, it's slightly erotic, but it's... it's, it's Kind of interesting. The devil is pansexual, and I think Will Graham is a heterosexual character, but sexuality is fluid. And up until the point that I wrote Is Hannibal in Love With Me, I was really, you know, I was aware of the, the, the fan community wanting uh, a sexualization between the characters, and I, I was entertained by that greatly and that I'm I'm definitely interested in and I think it feels like we're we were on a trajectory and we just have to find the most authentic uh, path for that trajectory as opposed to forcing something mm -hmm. and also because of the nature of what uh, would be happening in season four in terms of the grander manipulations that, that Hannibal has on Will Graham's mind, I don't think Hannibal would want to have sex with Will unless Will were willing, were, were of a right mind. And I don't think Will's going to be in his right mind in season four. So, <laughs> like, there's, there's, there, it's, it's a big conversation in logic, oh, and hopefully we'll give the opportunity to explore. One thing that's important to say about this, 
I mean, it, it was, it, it, I mean, a lot of questions would come that way. Uh, the thing is that Hannibal loves beautiful things. He loves beautiful music, beautiful art, beautiful food, and beautiful people. Basically, all beautiful minds.